Hello there, Dr. Shana Peter here with Well Ahead Chicago. So today I wanna go through how to complete your saliva hormone test because I know the instructions can get a little confusing. So just wanna go through that with you guys so you understand exactly what to do and you're crystal clear. So you should have received a kit that looks something like this. And so this little thing has everything you need. So if you open that up, you're gonna find your requisition form. So you wanna make sure that that's completely filled out. Um, the test um, should already be selected on the back and your information should be at the top, but you just wanna make sure everything else is filled out and definitely fill out the symptom questionnaire. So next you're gonna um, complete your specimen. So you're gonna collect your specimen. So. So you should have some instructions that look like this. And so this is gonna tell you exactly what to do. So, uh, so for your saliva specimen, you should have four different tubes because we're gonna do um, sex hormones and we're also gonna do a um, diurnal cortisol. So uh, your cortisol levels throughout the day. So you're gonna need to collect four specimens throughout the day. So you are going to take all of these specimens on the same day okay so that's really important so i know some people get confused about that so if you're a female and you're menstruating you're gonna do this test on either day 19 20 or 21 of your cycle but it's all on one day so it won't be on three different days you're just gonna pick one of those days um in your menstrual cycle to collect your specimen so all four of these samples Okay, so it's pretty self-explanatory in the instructions what to do, but you're going to take the first specimen upon waking. So on the first page, they even have the breakdown of how you're going to uh, collect your saliva specimen. So this large tube, this is the one that you're going to use to collect that first specimen in the day because your other hormones, your sex hormones are going to be run off of this specimen. Okay. So the next specimen that you're going to collect is going to be before lunch. So you'll use one of these smaller tubes. So you'll use, um, you'll collect your specimen before lunch. You do one before dinner and then you'll do one before bed. So um, it's really easy to do. Make sure you read through all these instructions because there can be, um, you know, just a few little important nuanced things that you want to do to make sure that you don't um, mess up this uh, specimen. So for collecting the saliva, um, you don't want to eat anything, um, brush your teeth, anything like that before you collect the saliva. So just make sure you read through those instructions because it tells you specifically um, what to do and um, how to do that. And so once you've collected all your specimens, you want to freeze them because that's what's going to um, keep them in intact uh, while they're being shipped to the lab. So once you've got all your specimens done, you're gonna stick them in the freezer and your kit, it has your label in here. So this envelope, you're just gonna take that out and um, just affix this UPS label to it. So you'll just stick that on there, take it to UPS or have them pick it up. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope that that was helpful. I hope that helps you to understand a lot better what to do. But of course, if you have any questions about anything, you can always reach out to us. Um, so until next time, take care. And I can't wait to see your results. Hey, make sure you check out our other videos and don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell. We've got lots of great content and I don't want you to miss anything. Until next time, take care and be well.